All right, we're All right, on. We're, we're back. <laughs> we're back. We had a weak signal. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. You never know. But we're here. Okay, hi, everybody. 542 on Wednesday, October 19th, 2016. Just to think that uh, just a few years ago that this great nation began. Time flies. <laughs> I was gonna oh, that. my goodness, time hey flies. Okay, we got a cool topic for you tonight because I think it's kind of one that we've all thought about or have mm -hmm. dreamt about or have done. And um, anyway, we want to see what you guys think, um, what you have to say about it as well. So comment down below wherever you can. Um, also, I believe at the top you can um, add us to your notifications so that when we do go live, you won't miss us. Um, and anyway, give us a little shout out, let you know, let us know where you are, who you are, where you're from, and uh, what you think about firing your boss. Would you do it? Have you considered it? We want uh, interaction on this uh, lightning rod <laughs> topic. Uh, I've actually yeah. had three, just to get the conversation started, I've actually had three... Um, three positions, three actual jobs in my adult career. Um, the first one lasted about three years. Hey Chuck. Hey Chuck. Uh, then... Um, Real quick, we yeah. don't want you to fire your boss, Chuck. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Uh, and then I was uh, in the teaching profession. Well, yeah, the first job was part of the teaching profession. And then uh, my next teaching position was 11 years. And then I was in um, a position in the financial advisory world for 12 years. And um, only I one of those positions I really uh, loved. And it wasn't because of the work. Uh, it was because of the people. Mm -hmm. I loved working with those people. And this is would have been my first position as a teacher. And ironically enough, it was the shortest lived uh, job I held uh, because I moved f um, to Phoenix. But uh, so it was, a, it was a move that uh, curtailed that uh, job prematurely. But I loved the people. I loved the uh, my boss. And uh, <laughs> so then for 20 plus years, I worked... Uh, um, <sighs> begrudgingly, if you will, uh, kind of muddled through it because uh, the personality conflicts uh, that, that arose, and uh, to, to put it nicely, and yeah. uh, so it just, became, it just became uh, not, it, not fun to, uh, to go to work. So didn't know if any of you out there have had that same yeah. experience of um, struggling yeah. with... Uh, your job, not wanting to get up, hating Monday mornings, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> um, I loved my job a couple times, and but, you know, other things took me away from it, or um, I wanted to do other things, so I had to fire my boss. <laughs> but in this situation, kind of in a, maybe a different situation, where if you're not loving it, um, it's important to be able to have that power to say, I'm going to remove myself from a situation mm -hmm. that is not um, not healthy or not making me happy. Um, well, in a way, I mean, not fulfilling, you know, what you want to be doing in life and on the day-to-day -day basis. So um, I think it's something that needs to be talked about a lot more. I just, I hear so many people talking about how they would love to do something else or change things about their jobs and change things about their career. So um, I think it's a big topic and things we need to talk about and um, see where you guys are at. And if you're ready to do that or wanting mm -hmm. to do um, something different, what's holding you back? What's, uh, what are you thinking and, and what, it, what will it take for you to change your situation? I'm going to chew on that for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think for us, it took, um, it took, you know, we've kind of talked about it before, but a long time to figure out how to do that and what to do about it. And once you're in that situation where you where you love where you're working, you're not going to want to stop. <laughs> like we don't right. want to stop doing what we're doing. Right. Ever. It's 
it's not something that this is something we need to retire from. It's not a lot of hard labor, so, you know, our bodies can do it as long as our minds and our bodies are going. Um, so we love that, the, the longevity of what we are doing, and we hope that, um, that if you guys are interested in anything like that, that you would um, reach out or, or follow your dreams, whatever it is. You know, don't, don't let whatever you are doing that's, that's bringing you down so much keep you there. Yeah, and, and for me, it's the was the realization that, uh, uh, especially knowing I wasn't enjoying the relationship, uh, building the uh, dreams of my boss. I mean, it would have been one thing if, uh, you know, I, I enjoyed uh, that the relationships on that level where, you know, that maybe that wouldn't have affected me. But Right, but I know yeah. you, and you probably would still want to dream your own, you know, build your own right. dreams and everything. Right. A lot of us are like that, mm -hmm. where we have our own dreams and we have our own desires of where we want to go. But, yeah, it would have been a lot easier for you to stick around if, you know, things were a little bit different in the relationship yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I, yeah. So I'm not uh, anti-job by any means, yeah. but uh, for me, I just, uh, for us, we yeah. just wanted more, and mm -hmm. uh, it was it was a, a nine. Mm -hmm. it, it was we talked about it plenty over the past <laughs> uh, how many years yeah. to the pl to the point where it's like, you know, this obviously is a feeling that's not going to go away. So we might as well go ahead and do it instead right. of just continually talking. About right. Uh, so if you're what, in that situation, yeah. then yeah. yeah, think about what's holding you back, what's stopping you, mm -hmm. and and try to put those things in like a priority of what you can do to change them. So um, for us, it was you know debt. We got rid of debt so that we didn't have our income didn't have to be so high when right. we did um, jump off, burn the bridge, kind of thing, burn the boat. Sorry. Right, and, and that that included paying off our house. Yeah. Um, now. You know, if you're in a situation where you would like to pursue your dreams by going into business for yourself, uh, but you you know have a mortgage that you can't get out from under, that it might necessitate you making a big decision and going mm -hmm. ahead and and selling your home even. And, but and just, this is, comes from the CFP, where that's not a bad idea. It's sometimes. not a bad idea. You know. you know, if that's what it takes to eliminate the debt to eliminate the liability to put you in a place where you mm -hmm. can then be mm -hmm. pursue your dreams because work is such a we were meant to work you know mm -hmm. i always like to tell people um you know the word retirement you know it, it's a common word used not only in the financial planning world mm -hmm. but just in our culture in general but what i like to point out to people is that the word retirement just does not exist in um in the Bible, for example, yeah, and I yeah. thought that was very interesting. Uh, that yeah, we're me we're right. meant to work, so yeah. um, we like the mm -hmm. idea of um, you know working as long as we have breath. We really do. Yeah, well, it gives you purpose, and and mm -hmm. when we when you find that purpose, when you want to, you know, a lot of uh, what we do is helping other people right. um, on our day to day basis. That's what we're doing, and so that gives us fulfillment and you know a daily purpose and. Um, happiness and and gratitude and things like that throughout the day so it's really important to find that as well um you said something else about that is maybe the, oh the retirement thing um i know a lot of people who have gone into retirement and hated it because they didn't have anything to do mm -hmm. and maybe they thought oh it'll be so great to rest and not have to go anywhere but then they find that it's not it's not that doesn't fulfill them. They're feeling right. left out or not left out. They're feeling like they're not doing anything right. and they feel useless and it's like depressing. So they go back to work or they do, con you know, um, contracting, kind of doing things here and there. Right. So, um, working at Walmart. Or, no, I, yeah, same time. Yeah. Yeah. Same time, yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> but yeah, I know we're, we're meant to have that interaction. Right. So, uh, so anyway, yeah, so our, I guess what our live today is about, um, would you ever do that? And if you are, and you're thinking about it, what what are the steps that you need to take to go towards um, that goal? Um, one of the things might be debt, like I said before. Um, the other thing might be um, finding out what you're going to do next. So there's a lot of things that you can do um, to find that. That's a clue. Um, what other nugget do we want to give them? So just setting yourself up for what you want to do and when you want to do it and um, follow your dreams and, and do something about it. That's what I love watching um, and learning and seeing other people do is doing what they've wanted to do their whole yeah, life. Yeah, that, that's it. That's it right yeah. there in a nutshell. Okay, good. Yeah, your life's too oh, short. Right, 
unless you believe in reincarnation, <laughs> and then you know you'll get multiple chances. Yeah, but do uh, <laughs> if, if that's not in your worldview, uh, then uh, we, no, one time, we, one time, we got okay. a one time shot. shot. So let's make know, it worth it. Let's make it worth it. There yeah. you go. The mosquitoes are getting bad. Mosquitoes gonna, are bad. Let's let's eject. Okay. Bye, you guys. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you soon. All right, bye. -bye. bye.